Hello students. Today we have to see the exercise from the lesson number six. That is house we live in. Already we have completed this lesson by the video, by the Google Meet. We have done this. Now it's time to complete the exercises. Okay. Let's see. Start from our first question. That is a. Oral questions. Oral questions. What is the first question, student? One. Why do we need a house? Why do we need a house? Do you know the answer? Yes, of course you know the answer. We need a house to live in. House protect us from heat, rain, cold, and wild animals and enemies. Okay, that's why we need a house. Next question is student. Just read it. That is, how do you help your parents to keep your home clean? How do you help your parents to keep your home clean? Answer is given here. That is, we should keep up. Sorry, we should help our parents here. We should. Help our parents. Sorry, sorry. We should help our parents by dusting the furniture, keeping our things in order, and decorating the house on festivals. Okay. What should be the your duty? Duty. How you can uh, help them? That is that you can dust the furniture of your home. As well as you can sweep the floor, mop the floor. Which things you are taking, you are scattering here and there. Instead of that, you should keep it on in the proper order. Also, we are celebrating many festivals. So, whenever there is a festival, we are decorating our house. So, you should help. Your parents will decorate your house. In this way, you can help your parents. There is a first question we have done. It is oral question. That means it is understanding based question. You should give the answer by your own. What do you understand? Okay. Here, question B. That is quiz. Question B. That is quiz. First question, who makes the doors and windows of a house? Who makes doors and windows of your house? We have learned that how many people are there uh, working to build your home. And that architect, plumber, then uh, painter, carpenter, mason, which all people are working. From that, of your house. Next question that is name any two animals that make us sick. Student, we have learned that animals, some are pet animals and some are insects around us that are spreading the diseases. Who are those? You should write the two names only. Here I have written three mice, mosquito, house flies, you can write the cockroaches also. Okay, that many are there, you should write only two of them. Okay, I hope that you have got these all questions answers. We will turn towards the next question. Check it. Now, here is the next question that is the same. Take the correct answers. Take the correct answers. First, Igloos are made of a snow, b mud, and c cement. Yes, yes, correct. Igloos are made up of with the snow. Correct. Next, B. Who makes the drawing of house? Who makes the drawing of house? A painter, B architect, and C master. Yes, answer is the 
bad habit. See, arrange our books neatly in the book shelf. Yes, correct. Understood? So, here, this question is over. That is, take the correct answer. Now, students, we will move towards the next question. That is, fill in the blanks with the help of given words. In the bracket, you are having the words decisions, steel, and printer. These three words you have to use in the filling the blanks. Here first, dot dot houses are made in places where there is a heavy rainfall. Yes, which houses are there? Correct. Steel houses. Which houses are here? Steel houses. Steel houses are made in places where there is a heavy rainfall area. Second, the dot dot paints the house. Who paints that house? Correct. Painters. The painters paint our house. Third, mosquitoes spray dot dot and make a sea. Very good. Mosquitoes spray diseases. What they are spreading? Diseases. Make us sick. Okay. Once again you see that. I will move towards the next question. Now we have to move towards the next question. That is answer the following questions. First question is there. What is a houseboat? What is a houseboat? Answer is, it is a boat with rooms which is floating house. It is a boat with rooms which is floating house. Student, next question is there. Make the materials used to make a pakka house. There is a lot of material. You can point out or you can write some from this. Also, I have written here few that is cement, steel, stones, iron, glass, sand, marbles, kitchen slabs, etc. You can write any more if you want to, if you know about that. Understood? Means, pakka house banane ke liye kaun sa material zaruri hai aur kaun sa hota hai uske liye use karte hai that you have to mention here in this Questions answer. Understood? Here, test yourself. Write T for the true and here for the false statement. 1. A kitchen is a room in which we eat. A kitchen is a room in which we eat. No, it is false. Then, where we are eating? In the dining room. We are taking our food. Understood? Next. So that's why right. this is the false. We have to write here. Yeah. Second, igloo is a floating house. Igloo is a floating house. No. Igloo is made up with the snow. Means it is a spatial house. It is not a floating house. Understood? So this one is also false. Third, a plumber fixes the taps and pipes. Yes, correct. Plumber only fixes taps and pipes in the house. So, this statement is true. I have written there T. Here, this uh, lesson number six houses we live in with all exercise we have completed. Student, now you have to write in the notebook. If any query is there, you should send me a message. Understood? Once again, you see on the board.
Okay, I think you have finished. Let's bye bye.